Hi, my name is Eric Hawkins, but please call me Hawk. I'm a music production instructor and course developer for Berkeley Online, and I'm here today to share some very important tricks, production tricks, for Reason. So let's get started. What if we want more control over an audio loop? If that's the case, then we're going to want to turn it into a rex loop. And as a rex loop, then we can remove each of the little beats, or we can rearrange the beats, or we can add swing to the beats, all kinds of different things. Let's give that a try. So first we're going to want to look at all the warp markers in the audio to make sure that they're all set right. So let's solo this track and take a listen to it. This is a bongo track here. We only need one iteration of the loop, so we'll just grab this one. We'll double click on it to open it up and show the warp markers. Zoom in here. So each of these warp markers, those are actually the beat markers for the transients. Each part where this spikes, a little warp marker is put down. And it's always good to double check and see if the warp markers registered each of the transients in the waveform correctly. If they didn't, we can, for example, uh, just grab one of these guys here. We just click on the warp marker, select it, and we can delete it. Or uh, if we need another one in there, we just grab the pencil tool and up here and just drop another warp marker down. Also, uh, to make sure that each beat is being registered, make sure there's not something I'm missing in here in terms of the waveform. I can hold down the Apple key on the Mac and audition just that beat slice. All right, with my clip selected now, I can right click on it and go over to the Bounce menu here and go Bounce Clip to Rex Loop. It's now been bounced to a Rex Loop and it's now automatically self-contained in my song file. See right there, all self-contained samples, but it hasn't yet been assigned. So now we need to open up a Rex Loop player, Dr. Octorex. There's our Dr. Octorex. I'll just clear this guy out here, make sure there's nothing interfering with anything in there. And then we're going to want to open up the programmer and load just this Rex loop. So we're going to click on the browse loops. And we want to navigate to our song samples since that Rex loop is self contained in the song and it hasn't been assigned yet. So all self-contained song samples. And there it is, bongo. We choose this, we go OK, and turn off solo, and solo that bongo there, and press play. There it is. It's in my Dr. Octorex player. So let's say, for example, I don't like that bongo right there at the end. I could just grab it and turn down its level, turn it all the way down so I'm not hearing it anymore. Press play. And you can hear that it's gone. And we can set this right here, set our left and right locators copy this to track here, turn off the playback up here, make sure that we don't get any double triggering. And now it's a MIDI file. And as a MIDI file, we could, for example, arrange a couple of these beat slices. Turn on snapped grid, put this one over here, put this one over here. Make sure this is soloed. Take a listen to that. We can start having some fun with filters. 
Turn it up a bit here. And we could even apply some groove quantize to give it a completely different swing. Open up our regroove mixer, load in a groove patch. I like the MPC shuffles. Let's go for one of these. 60% shuffle, assign it to our track. And now that conga, same line. It's got a couple of rearranged notes and it has a new shuffle feel. A little bit, a little bit funkier, a little bit more MPC. And that's how you turn an audio loop and reason into a Rex loop for the ultimate in control of your audio slices and your beat slices. And uh, it's a very cool function and you can imagine the possibilities. I look forward to hearing what you guys cook up. Have fun.